Hello everybody, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to self-custodially stake your Bitcoin and earn yields for doing so. Now this is the only live Bitcoin staking in the entire world. And this Bitcoin staking takes place on the Bitcoin blockchain using Bitcoin time locks. So this actually incurs no principal risk at all to your Bitcoin. You're simply time locking it for however long you choose. And when you lock it, you're delegating to the core validator election. So you're helping you secure the core blockchain, which is the largest Bitcoin DeFi blockchain. And for that, you're earning core tokens. Now to stake your Bitcoin, you're going to come to stake.coredow.org. I'll leave that down below. There will be an entire blog linked below showing you step-by-step -step how to stake your Bitcoin and has all the different links that you'll need. So make sure to check that out. But once you're here, just click on stake now, and then it'll bring you to this page. Now, before we actually get to the staking process, let's first click on the validators page. This page shows you how much Bitcoin is staked, how much core is staked, how many validators are active, and then it shows you all the different validators. So when you're staking your Bitcoin, you will be choosing a validator, as you can see right here. And that validator is the validator that you will choose to secure the core network. And you will get paid out based off how well they secure the core network. So if you'd like to learn more about these validators, you could go onto this page, click on them, and see all the different stats pertaining to each validator, including their average Bitcoin reward rate, how much Bitcoin is delegated to them currently, how much Bitcoin hash and core is also delegated to them. But once you've decided which validator you want, you simply come back to the stake page. So over here on the left side is the staking calculator, which shows you based off how much Bitcoin you're willing to stake, the projected annual reward rate, and the projected annual rewards. And these are market dependent numbers, so they can change day by day. Each validator offers a different APY for the Bitcoin staking. So make sure to choose one with a good APY that you trust. So once you've chosen the validator and the amount of BTC that you'd like to delegate, then you're going to want to click on connect right here, and that will connect your Bitcoin staking wallet. I'm using Unisat, so that is what I'll be connecting. All right, just like that, my Bitcoin staking wallet is connected. Then you'll also connect an EVM wallet right here. I'll be using Rabi wallet, so that's what I'll click on. And Core also does offer dual staking. So if you like enhanced rewards, you can stake Core tokens alongside your Bitcoin to greatly boost those rewards. If you'd like to see what the different tiers of yield are, you could hover over this I icon right here. Currently, as I'm recording, to get the highest amount of yields, it is 16,000 Core tokens to every one Bitcoin, as you can see right there. And this is a ratio. So since I'm staking 0.01 BTC, I'll only need 160 core tokens to earn that highest rate. And these dual staking tiers are also market dependent, so they can change. So make sure you're checking on this icon to actually see what the current tiers are. And feel free to play with the different sliders down here to see how much core and Bitcoin staked would equal what rates. But for this video, I'm just focusing on staking Bitcoin, so I'll put my 0.01 BTC in there. All right, once I have my Bitcoin staking wallet connected and my core staking wallet, I've chosen the amount of Bitcoin I'd like to stake and I've chosen my validator, then I will click proceed to stake. And also a quick reminder, you cannot get slashed for any staking. Only the validators themselves can get slashed. So this Bitcoin you're staking is truly no principal risk, just securing a network. You don't have to worry about losing any of your Bitcoin. So then you're just going to click on proceed to stake right here. You're going to skip the stake core amount since we're just staking Bitcoin in this video. And here we are. So the most important part of this will be the lock time. So you're going to click on this and choose for how long your Bitcoin will be locked. Right now, the minimum is five days, but if you'd like to set it and forget it for like a month or two or a year, you can also do that as well. And then you have one more chance to change the validator before we go through with the staking. Then down here, there's two different wallet addresses. First is the Bitcoin staking address on the Bitcoin network. And as you can see right here, your Bitcoin staking address and your original Bitcoin wallet address are both controlled by the same private key, despite having different addresses. This is because the staking address is created from your wallet's public key. Essentially the same private key that gives you access to your Bitcoin wallet also grants you access to the BTC staking address. This ensures that you maintain secure control over both addresses. So only you can access this Bitcoin staking address. Then down here is the reward address on the core chain. So this is the core chain wallet address that we connected before, where you'll receive core tokens as reward for your staked BTC. So you'll want to go ahead and check on your core wallet to make sure that the seed phrase that you have for your wallet is the same as the reward address right here. Then once that is all done, you have three options, slow, normal, or fast. I'll just click on fast for this example, and then I will confirm the staked Bitcoin and I will approve this transaction in my wallet as well. You'll see right here, the network fee just 78 cents and feel free to check all the different input and output data as well, and then sign the transaction. All right, the transaction has been submitted. 
Now you also have the ability to stake core tokens to earn that higher yield. But now to check on our current Bitcoin that just got staked, click on the top right and click on my staking. Here it shows you the current core you have staked. And then if you go to the Bitcoin side, it shows you the Bitcoin you have staked. Right now, as you can see, it is pending, but I'll come back in a minute when it actually goes through. All right, now, as you can see, it's not pending. It is now rewarding which means the Bitcoin is time locked and you are receiving rewards for doing so. And I'll be back in five days when this is ready to be undelegated. And I'll show you guys how to claim your core tokens and undelegate your Bitcoin. All right, I'm back five days later. And as you can see, the time lock has expired and we've earned our core rewards. Now, first to claim your core rewards, just click on claim right here and then approve the transaction in your wallet. All right, and just like that, our core rewards have been claimed. All right, now you have the ability to either redeem or redelegate your Bitcoin. Now to do either of these, we first have to sign back in with our wallet. So once again, connect your wallet. All right, now my wallet is connected and I'll just click on redelegate to show you guys. Yeah, so if you'd like to stake your Bitcoin again, you click on redelegate, then choose another lock time, choose your validator again and go through the same process we just went through before. But to claim your BTC, you're just gonna click on here and click redeem. Then we'll show you the Bitcoin staking address that holds the staked BTC. And remember, this is controlled by the same private key as your Bitcoin address. So then down here at the receiving Bitcoin address, this is obviously where you put in your own Bitcoin address. So go to your Bitcoin wallet, make sure to copy your address and then paste it right here. Feel free to choose however long you want. I'll be clicking on fast and then create transaction. Then you just wanna click on sign by Bitcoin wallet and approve that transaction in your wallet right over here. All right, now the transaction has been submitted. You could check it out on the Bitcoin Explorer if you'd like. Right here, it'll show you everything you need to see. So yeah, feel free to check out this website right here and see where your transaction is. Now we're back in the core website. And as you can see from right here, the Bitcoin has been redeemed and we are waiting confirmation from the Bitcoin network. All right, I think the time has expired. So let's refresh the page. And yeah, as you can see, there's no Bitcoin here. And then if we go into our Unisat wallet, there we go. We have our 0.01 BTC back in our wallet. It was never touched throughout the entire process. Remember that the Bitcoin is just time locked, so it never actually leaves the Bitcoin blockchain. There's no wrapping, no lending, no new principal risk to your Bitcoin. It just earns yields for helping to secure the core blockchain. So yeah, I hope that was a great example for how self-custodial Bitcoin staking works on core. If you have any questions at all, please leave them below. And I also urge you to check out the non-custodial Bitcoin staking docs which I'll leave in the description below, along with a blog really going through everything you need to know about non-custodial, self-custodial Bitcoin staking. This is the only truly trustless Bitcoin staking offering real rewards every day, not just points. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I'll see you all in the next video.